We are one in the Spirit. We are one in the Lord. We are one in the Spirit. We are one in the Lord. And we pray that all unity may one day be restored. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know. Christians by our love. We will walk with each other. We will walk hand in hand. We will walk with each other. We will walk hand in hand. And together we'll spread the news that God is in our land. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know who we are Christians by our love. We will work with each other. We will work side by side. We will work with each other. We will work side by side. And we'll guard human dignity and save human pride. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. All praise to the Father from whom all things come. And all praise to Christ Jesus, his only Son. And all praise to the Spirit who makes us one. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. Quite enough love for one like me. And in this very room, there's quite enough joy for one like me. And there's quite enough hope and quite enough power to change gloom for Jesus Lord Jesus is in this very enough love for all of us and in this very room there's quite enough joy for all of us and there's quite enough hope and quite enough power to chase away for Jesus, Lord Jesus, is in this very Why? 
wide enough love for all the world and in this very room there's quite enough joy for all the world and there's quite enough hope and quite enough power to change gloom for Jesus Lord Jesus is in this very Well, good afternoon, everyone. I invite you to please stand and turn and face the baptism font behind you. This is where Jerry's journey of faith began. It was in the waters of baptism that it began, and so it's very fitting that we begin our liturgy into eternal life here. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. And may the grace and the peace of our risen Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And so it was in the waters of baptism that Jerry Talbot died to one way of life and, and rose with Christ <clears throat> to a new way of life. May he now on this day share with Christ eternal glory. It's also on the day of his baptism that he put on a white garment uh, which symbolized his new life in Christ. Again on this day of his birth into heaven, may he be clothed in glory. I invite us now to join in our opening song. Sing to the mountain, sing to the sea, raise your voices, lift your hearts. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the Give thanks to you, my Lord. You have answered my plea. You have saved my soul from death. You are my strength and my song. Sing to the mountains, sing to the sea. Raise your voices, lift your hearts. This is the day. Let all the earth rejoice. Holy, holy, holy Lord. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Sing to the mountains, sing to the sea. Raise your voices, lift your hearts. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice. Death has lost and all is life. Sing of the glory of God. Sing to 
the mountain, sing to the sea. Raise your voices, lift your horns. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. Let all the earth rejoice. Let us pray first in silence. Loving God, by the mystery of the cross of Jesus, you have made us strong. By the sacrament of his resurrection, you have sealed us as your own children. Look kindly upon your servant, Jerry, now freed from the bonds of mortality, and count him among your saints in heaven. We ask our prayer in Jesus' name. He lives with you in the unity of the Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. I invite us now to be seated as we listen to the Word of God. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. But now, thus says the Lord who created you and formed you, Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the water, I will be with you. In the rivers, you shall not drown. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. The flames shall not consume you. For I am the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. You are precious in my eyes and glorious, and I love you. Fear not, for I am with you. The word of the Lord. Goodness 
grace and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life in the Lord's own house shall I dwell for length of days unending the The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. A reading from the book of Revelation. Then I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. The former heaven and the former earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. I also saw the holy city, a new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adored for her husband. I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, God's dwelling is with the human race. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will always be with them as their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes, and there shall be no more death or mourning wailing or pain, for the old order has passed away. The one who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. Then he said, Write these words down, for they are trustworthy and true. He said to me, They are accomplished. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give a gift from the spring of life-giving water. The victor will inherit these gifts, and I shall be their God, and they will be my children. The word of the Lord. Thank you. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. You are the salt of the earth, but as salt has lost its taste, how can its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it under a bushel basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to God in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. picture hanging in my, my room because it's very special to me and I'll, um, I'll tell its story in just a bit. But there are eight Beatitudes and, um, you know, when I pray in the morning, you know, different things come to mind, but this one was coming to mind and I, I just had to share it with you because I know Molly would appreciate it because there are eight Beatitudes, but uh, today there were nine um, and God was proclaiming a ninth beatitude. Blessed are those who are Michigan State fans for they are favored by God. So <laughs> that's what was coming through loud and clear and uh, it must be from God because I'm on the other side of the aisle. So uh, today I proudly wear green and, um, and, and that's okay. But th 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 this picture comes, um, it, it's, it, it's a picture of me sitting uh, on the Sea of Galilee at the Mount of Beatitudes. I didn't realize someone was taking that picture of me, and they did, and because uh, I was just reflecting on the Beatitudes at this moment. So someone snapped a picture, and I liked the picture, so I turned it into a painting because I knew someone who does a painting of it. If you've ever been to Israel, this is by far one of the most peaceful places in that land because it's green, it's lush, um, and you just feel a sense of peace, and it's uh, if you're going to go and get away for a weekend, uh, this is the place to go um, and, and to reflect on all that God has done for us. And, and so as I was sitting there on the sea, reading the Beatitudes, you know, blessed are the poor in spirit, blessed are those who mourn. You know, the thought that was coming to my mind at, at that moment was I was reflecting on the people of that land in that time because these were, were, were not, in, in the Galilee era, these were not the doctors and the lawyers. These were just the simple, hardworking people. And, and, and so as the Lord is preaching to them, these are just the, the, the people who work hard, you know, put in their eight hours a day, you know, love their family and, 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 and do whatever they have to. And somehow they still don't feel a sense of blessed because... In that society, it's the doctors and the lawyers who are down in Jerusalem. Um, they're the ones. But God clearly says, no, it's, it's, it's all of us here. It's people like Jerry who just 
um, embody a work ethic, embody a spirit that says that they radiate God's love all the time. And, and, and it's not about them, uh, but they want to focus on the other person. And, and, and so the Lord wanted those people in that time to know that whatever they're going through in the midst of their life, whether they're mourning the loss of a loved one, you know, whether they're feeling a sense that, you know, I'm not worthy, whatever they're going through, the Lord says, blessed are you in this particular moment because God is smiling down upon you. And, and as, I, as I sat there um, reflecting on that scripture, I got a sense that, that God was blessing me in that moment. And, and what a wonderful thing it is. So I can picture Jerry sitting there, because there, there is a, the place we stayed, there is a, a swing set there, and I got up early in the morning and I sat there, and that was my reflection that Jerry and I were sitting on the swing and we were just talking about life and, and how much he loved his family and, and what it meant to him, how much he loved uh, this community of Saginaw and all that he did. And it was a beautiful moment, and, and he stared out at the beauty, but I saw the beauty in this man sitting next to me. And so that's the image that I want to get across. Um, we're losing the good ones, it seems. Uh, and, and we lost a good one today. Uh, you can't replace a man like that. Uh, you, you, you just can't. Uh, everything that he embodied, uh, the Spirit of God, it, it, it radiated out. I love to see him come into church every Saturday when I saw him. It just it, it brought a... Uh, it lifted my spirit, and, and, and I know that today, as he um, sits in the, the kingdom of heaven, uh, feeling the sense of being blessed by God, uh, he wants us all to know that indeed all of us are blessed uh, because of his presence and how much God continues to love us. And so as a people of faith, we pray now for the needs of the church, for our community, for Jerry and the whole world as we offer our petitions. For Jerry, who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, may he now be admitted to the company of saints. We pray to the Lord. For Jerry's family and friends, may they be comforted and consoled in their grief by the Lord who wept at the death of his friend Lazarus. We pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered here today to honor and remember Jerry's life today, may the love for him continue to bring us closer to each other and closer to God. We pray to the Lord. For Jerry's children, Mary Jo, Molly, Tony, and their spouses, and his granddaughters, Morgan and Mackenzie, may they be comforted by the many memories of their life together. We pray to the Lord. For the doctors, nurses, and all who take care of the ill and dying, that they have the charity and the strength to do their work well, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those we know and love who have died, especially for Joan, Jerry's wife, and Jim Trainer, Jerry's son-in-law, that they may live in an eternal dwelling provided for them by God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here today, that our faith and trust in God who loves us remains strong, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious and loving God, may our hearts be always grateful for your presence among us. May we experience the depths of your compassion as we continue to serve your people through Christ our Lord. Amen. Grab a seat.
stand. Please pray, my friends, that these gifts of bread and wine will be an acceptable offering lifted up to you, our loving and merciful God. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Loving God, receive these gifts that we offer today on behalf of your son, Jerry. Through this sacrifice, grant him new life and a share in the fullness of your kingdom through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned. Those saddened by the certainty of death might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful people, Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, thrones and dominions, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. indeed holy O Lord and all you have created rightly gives you praise for through your son our Lord Jesus Christ by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit you give life to all things and you make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore O Lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the cup, uh, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the cup to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Then he said to them, Do this in memory of me. In song, let us proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to a second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the offering of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints on whose constant intercession we rely for help. 
Lord, may this sacrifice of our reconciliation advance the peace and the salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and peace your pilgrim church on earth, your servant Francis, our Pope Robert, our Bishop, and all your holy people. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you, and in your compassion, O merciful God, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember in a special way your servant Jerry, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may be one with him in the resurrection. When from the earth he will raise up those in the flesh who have died and transform our lonely bodies after the pattern of his own. Toward departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes for seeing you, our God, as you are. We shall become like you for all ages and praise you without end. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Now gather our prayers and praises into one voice as we pray in the words Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. Thank you. And let us take a moment now to share that peace with one another. God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are we called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. You can grab a seat.
for free. Woman or man, no more. One bread, one body, one Lord of all. One cup of blessing which we bless. One Lord of all, one cup of blessing which we bless, and we, though many, throughout the earth, we are one body in this world.
Loving God, we ask that our sharing in this holy meal be a pledge of the new life which Jerry will enjoy with you forever. We ask our prayer and we give you thanks through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'd like to invite Mary Jo forward now. I'd like to share a thought about her dad. Okay. Gerald Joseph Talbot, Jerry, Geraldo, and often called Cabana Boy. <clears throat> Our father, grandfather, and friend was handsome, smart, and humble. Raised in a privileged situation, he was never obnoxious and never treated others as though they were beneath him. There was never a time that our guy put himself before others. Joan and Jerry were a package to go, and they came to absolutely everything the girls did from basketball, soccer, recitals, and tennis matches, to even the simple giving of an intention <clears throat> at an all-school mass. There'd be a call the night before, They'd be in the car at 6.30 the next morning, heading to East Lansing. He was always up early and loved a project. His work ethic was outstanding. Cabana boy, because if we were in Florida, Dad would show up with our Diet Cokes by the pool without even a request. If we were at a resort, he would bring the coffees to the door at the perfect time. <clears throat> Dad was fastidious about his lawn but still let us have a baseball diamond in the summer and skating rink in the winter so that our house was the gathering spot for friends. <clears throat> we were so thankful for the places that Dad was able to go last fall. One last Spartan football game with his buddy George, his reunion at Gilmore Academy, where he was the oldest living graduate, <clears throat> a long weekend in Boyne City, which he loved so much, and visiting some of Joan's cousins in Ohio. All of these activities brought him joy. Our father made many great investments in his life, but none more important than in his children and grandchildren. It takes a special man to raise children, all with type A plus personalities. He now lives a legacy of family first, faith and philanthropy, which we carry forward in his spirit. And may their memory be a blessing. Sleep warm, Papa. After our service here in church, we're heading off to the cemetery, so just uh, some of the immediate family are heading off to the cemetery to lay Jerry to his final place of rest, but we're all invited for a luncheon, so um, if we don't have anywhere else to go, a uh, uh, family would love to, us to join them for lunch at the Saginaw Country Club, so I know they're doing a little work on the parking lot, but uh, there'll be somebody there to direct us as we go in, so I think we're just gonna go straight back toward the tennis courts, uh, but there'll be somebody directing us, so there's lots of spots to park, so don't let that deter us from um, gathering again uh, for, for Eucharist uh, to share a meal and, uh, and uh, for, for Jerry. And so before we go our separate ways, let us now take leave of our friend Jerry. May our farewell express our affection for him, may it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope, that one day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Jesus Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. May the angels welcome you to paradise. May the martyrs greet you on your way. May you see the face of the Lord this day. Alleluia, alleluia. Saints of God, come and lead you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. Alleluia, alleluia. 
May the angels welcome you to paradise. May the martyrs greet you on your way. May you see the face of the Lord this day. Alleluia, alleluia. They will all come out to meet you. is no longer poor. Alleluia, alleluia. May the angels welcome you to paradise. May the martyrs greet you on your way. May you see the face of the Lord this day. Please stand. And so into your hands, God of mercy, as we now commend our friend in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ Jesus, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you have bestowed upon him in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers and welcome your servant Jerry to paradise. And help us to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ Jesus and are with you and with Jerry forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. So in peace, let us now take Jerry to his final place of rest. Jesus, we will find an open 